What is up VR enthusiasts, this is Danny with VR Punch and in the last month my index starting acting up. I guess it's the headset's age or maybe the cable is starting to wear out, it ain't in the best shape, uh, I admit. And I started getting this dreaded error 436. Now I gotta give credit for Steam support, they helped me out with this one and I hope this video will help some of you too. First of all make sure everything is connected properly and I would recommend cleaning all the connectors with contact cleaner and if that won't work, try this fix. For starters, let's update the Steam VR to the latest beta branch. You go to the Steam library, you look up Steam VR. If it ain't in your game list, just search for it in the search panel. You right click on it, go to properties, you choose beta and you choose Steam VR beta update. After it downloads and installs, we'll need to start up the headset. Now this is the only way I could start up my headset. If you have some tricks to start up your headset initially from this error, go for it. What you do is uh, you squirt some contact cleaner inside the headset connector and on the cable connector itself. This is the only way I found that my headset starts up. My theory is that on the Steam VR startup, the display port in the GPU gets some voltage reading from the headset, and due to wear of the cable or maybe humidity in your area, it reads it wrong and the contact cleaner helps it in some way. I'm not sure why, but it just works. After the headset starts it up we go to settings video and now on the beta branch there's supposed to appear an option called display port training DP training. and you set it to compatibility mode a and bam everything works like new here it is guys I hope it helps some of you this was Danny with VR punch please consider subscribing and liking this video it helps me and the channel a lot see ya